What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and Blizzard has just had the third leak for the upcoming 2018 Halloween Terror event, and this time, it looks like they've spoiled every single new skin. Great job, guys. So currently on the PTR, if you go to your career profile and look at the achievements, and then go ahead and click on the special tab and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see the brand new achievements for the upcoming Halloween Terror event. Now these are whatever, we would have expected there to be achievements for this event, but what are the achievements specifically? Six Wanderers, win Junkenstein's Revenge with six different heroes. Okay, but then let's go ahead and look at the icon for this achievement. Well, look at that. That certainly looks like the faces of six new legendary skins. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't tell who exactly these heroes are and which skins they seem to have. So top left, this one almost certainly is Wrecking Ball. Judging by the big ears on the side, it definitely looks like that's Hammond's head. Now he appears to be wearing like a scarecrow mask, sort of like sack over his head with a very creepy smile on it. So I don't know if he's going to be some sort of like scarecrow thing or maybe it's supposed to be like a bat costume because of the big ears? I don't know, I'm really curious what the mech itself will look like as well, but yeah that definitely does look like Wrecking Ball right there. Now the top middle one, honestly, I have no idea what that one is. I don't know who that's for, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Something with long hair and kinda creepy eyes on the front? I really don't know, maybe that would be like for Hanzo? You can't even tell whether it's supposed to be a man or a woman to be honest. So that's one we're just gonna have to maybe come back to. Top right is definitely Winston. Now as for what exactly this Winston skin is, again we can't exactly tell. The big sort of turned up nose on the front makes me think of like a vampire bat, but Winston as a vampire bat? That kind of seems weird, I don't really know what the rest of his body would look like. Now one of the skin ideas I was thinking of and actually had planned for an upcoming skins prediction video I was going to do, but now that this leak came out I don't know if I'm still gonna end up doing it. I was going to suggest that Winston could be getting a werewolf skin, given that, you know, he's a big dark furred creature, kind of like a werewolf. And maybe that's what we're looking at here, although you don't really see any fangs. So I don't know if that is in fact supposed to be a wolf or a bat or what, but I think it's safe to say that that one is for Winston. Now bottom left, that is clearly a knight's helmet, however that doesn't really signify anything. The only knight we really have in game would be like Reinhardt, maybe Brigitte. However, judging by the shape of the front of the helmet, where it has these sort of little indentation between the two jutting out points, I think this is definitely going to be a skin for Genji. It has the exact same shape as Genji's default helmet, so I think it's safe to say that Genji is going to be getting some kind of knight skin. And moving on to the bottom middle, this is definitely the slasher skin which we had leaked back during the summer games, and it's definitely for Soldier 76. We can see the scar going right across his face, right where Soldier has his scar, and the hairstyle is even the same as Soldier's hairstyle. And as I was thinking, it does look like it's supposed to be a reference to slasher flicks, where he has some sort of hockey style mask or some other sort of brutal thing covering his face. You know, in hindsight, that actually kind of makes a lot of sense, since slasher villains almost always wear masks, Soldier 76 wears a mask, I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't really think of that earlier on, but yeah, Soldier 76 is going to be getting the slasher skin. And bottom right, I'm pretty sure that one is Sombra as the Bride of Frankenstein. I'm thinking it's Sombra because of the little sort of hairstyle thing on the side, it's very reminiscent of what Sombra has in her default skin. And it also looks like the sort of electrified hairstyle that you see with the classic Bride of Frankenstein. Now I was thinking it was going to be Moira, and maybe it is still Moira, but I'm pretty sure that's Sombra. And Jeff Kaplan did confirm in the latest developer update that one of the skins would be for the Bride of Frankenstein, or in this case, Junkenstein's monster. So Sombra is gonna be Roadhog's Bride, I guess? I don't know. Again, that top middle one, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Definitely leave your thoughts about that one as well as all the others down in the comments below. Now considering the original leak which showed us the names of four of the upcoming skins, it's obvious now which of the ones are the Bride and the Slasher skins, however we also still have Ghost. Now it's possible that this top middle one
one, which I'm unable to identify, could be the ghost. Although none of them particularly look like a ghost, unless they're going for a very different interpretation of just a person with a white sheet over their head. So I guess despite this leak, we still have this mystery going for us. Or perhaps I've just completely overlooked one of these obviously being the ghost. I mean, for all we know, Wrecking Ball could be a ghost on the top left. And additionally, we do still have the epic Spider Queen skin, which of course isn't shown here because it is just an epic. Presumably there will be at least one or two more epic skins that we don't even know the names of yet, which will be coming as well. And it's possible that we will have more than just six legendary skins, although I'm not necessarily keeping my fingers crossed just based on how many skins we got during the Summer Games event this year. If you want my honest opinion, I think we're looking at the six legendary skins for the 2018 Halloween event. I gotta say, it's a little disappointing that Blizzard dropped the ball three times now when it came to this single event, and to think I was praising them so heavily with the new Torbjorn rework and all the other changes they talked about in the developer update, and here it turns out, another tragic leak. Well, it is what it is. I may still do a separate Halloween skins prediction video because I always think those are really fun videos to do. If you guys are still interested in seeing that even after this leak, then be sure to let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen my video talking about the leaked start date for this year's event, then you can check that out through the card on screen. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with all my future Overwatch content, and follow me on Twitter for fun polls and channel updates. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, let's hope there aren't any more leaks, and have a great day.